All right, folks, here we are with the new release of Stable Diffusion 3.5. And yeah, I know we've all been a bit let down before, but this time Stability AI has packed in a bunch of updates and new models that are worth a look. So let's break it down and see what we've got. First up, we've got Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large and the Large Turbo version. These models are available for download right now on Hugging Face, and you can grab the inference code from GitHub too. The large model, with its 8 billion parameters, is aiming to be the workhorse here. Big, powerful, and ideal for generating 1 megapixel images. The turbo version is basically the large model's faster cousin, delivering high-quality images but in fewer steps. So if you need to be quick, turbo might be your pick. Then on October 29th, they'll release Stable Diffusion 3.5 Medium. This one's more consumer-friendly, with 2.5 billion parameters, and it's built to run out of the box on regular hardware without melting your GPU. It's supposed to be customizable too, which could be a big win for anyone who wants to tweak the model to their specific needs without dealing with a massive infrastructure headache. Now, Stability AI is also offering these models under their community license, which is pretty open compared to most state-of-the-art models out there. If you're working on a project that makes less than $1 million a year, you can use these models for free. If your operation is bigger though, you'll need to go for an enterprise license, but that's their standard practice right now. So for most of you creators, hobbyists, and small businesses, this license is a massive win. These models are definitely more customizable than earlier versions. Stability AI integrated this thing called query key normalization, which makes the models easier to fine tune, but you'll have to watch out for more variation in the output when you're using less specific prompts. So yeah, it's flexible, but with a bit of a trade-off. If you're looking for exact consistency, you'll want to be precise with your inputs. And speaking of performance, Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large is killing it in prompt adherence. And it even holds up against some of the bigger models in terms of image quality. Let's pull up this chart real quick so we can see exactly how it ranks. Now the ELO score shows SD 3.5 Large performing really well, beating everything else in the chart except Flux1 Dev, uh, which has a higher aesthetic quality score. The other models, uh, Large, Turbo and Medium, are actually doing really, really well. They are performing almost as well as Stable Diffusion 3 Large. Now on this chart, the models that I found really work well is Stable Cascade. That's the one on this chart that I really like the performance of. I think most of these are actually open source or close to being open source. I think Dev uh, is non-commercial use and Stable Cascade is non-commercial use, but it is open source. This one here I found produced much higher quality, huge images, sort of four megapixels and above than almost all the other models that I've used. So I think it still has got a place in the league for the highest performing models. The Stable Cascade model is pretty difficult to actually set up and run properly, but I find that it does actually produce quite better images than even the Flux model sometimes. Flux 1 Dev, this score here is a bit confusing for me because I find it's very difficult to get it to adhere to the prompt. So I'm quite surprised to see it performing this well. But in any case, the S3.5, uh, the Stable Diffusion 3.5 large is 8 billion parameters, whilst this guy here is 12 billion, significantly larger. And this one here is also 12 billion. The, the Schnell model is 12 billion. I also noticed that we didn't have the Ideogram model Playground 3. Those are both closed source, paid for, and we don't have the Flux 1.1 models as well. So we don't know exactly how they compare with Stable Diffusion 3.5 large it's possible that they actually outperform. We've also got some sample images that we'll be taking a look at just to give you a better idea of what these models are capable of in terms of style and quality. Now these images here show really, really good prompt adherence with the mana health and poison bottles shown in, the, uh, in this old apothecary with the correct spelling and the positioning of the uh, labels, the mana, and then the second one is the red with the health and then the poison label over here on the right green. We then have this really nice looking fantasy image. 
and we've also got this and this is something that you sometimes find with the flux dev model it's beautiful but it doesn't always adhere to the to the prompt that you give it we're leaving for the future beautiful text again very nice style and pretty decent prompt adher adherence as well another set of images here we've got some pretty nice styling on this image here uh, with this car here we've got really nice detail going on a very strong color also enormous amounts of contrast and then we have this guy here with the bottles we can see that in a little bit more detail you can see it's very detailed you can see uh, the the way it looks in terms of the bokeh and the background and we can see the kind of texture on the on the labels here one thing i really like about the stable diffusion models is the photorealism and this guy here this looks like a photograph and we've got nice fingers I think one of the reasons I wanted to move away from Dali 3 more towards stable diffusion was the quality of the, the, the photographs. You can actually get something that looks like a genuine photograph. Then of course, we've got this really nice text going on. I think one of the things I like about stable cascade is the text and it's nice to see, well, we'll have to test this model to see exactly just how good the text is. I think the flux models are pretty decent when it comes to text. Be nice to see if this one is competitive. And just a quick reminder, I've got some really nice courses on Stable Diffusion if you want to learn the basics or if you want to move up to a more advanced level. Link in the description and you'll find a special offer there as well. So there you have it. Stable Diffusion. 3.5 is here with a lot of promise, but we'll have to see how it holds up in actual use. The large models are available now and the medium version drops soon on October the 29th. If you've been waiting for better performance and more control, this release might just do the trick. Keep an eye out for more tests and updates as we get our hands dirty with these models. And let me know in the comments if you're planning to dive in with Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large.